My name is Matthew Dale, and today we're in the Axe FX3, specifically the vocoder block, how to get it set up, and a little bit of a deep dive on how I got this Daft Punk style tone. The first thing that I have loaded up in here is sort of the Nile Rodgers clean, compressed... <laughs> Kind of that clean funk guitar and all of the guitar stuff is actually hap happening on an independent uh, signal so if we look down here out of this compressor uh, i'm splitting off and i'm going down into the amp and cab block nothing terribly uh, difficult going on here i've just got the band commander at stock settings a couple of uh actually just one uh, just one uh, twin reverb cab, 212 cab, and then I'm going into a little bit of delay before I go back into the multiplexer, and that's really kind of taking care of the, the scene changes between the vocoder and any of the guitar stuff going on. In the vocoder signal chain here, I'm running from this compressor into a synth block, which is doing the synth tones, obviously, and then we go over, and I'll flip on my vocoder scene here. I go into the vocoder block, and then another compressor because the vocoder and the synth block can be um, a, a bit spiky in terms of levels. So I'm really trying to make sure that when I'm playing the notes, I'm not I'm getting a, a little bit more of a consistent performance for a consistent tone uh, coming out of the vocoder. And then a parametric EQ just to keep the highs and lows in check. And then again into the multiplex. The vocoder itself is a bit interesting to set up. The Axe FX3 does not have a built-in microphone preamp. Uh, it's really meant for instrument level and line level type applications. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm running this microphone into my mixer with mic preamps on it. And then I'm taking a separate mix with it's really just the microphone going into input two of the Axe FX, the left channel of input two, and that is what the vocoder is using to analyze the formants that I'm speaking into the microphone to do all of this manipulation. So that is the setup. Now the synth block is where a lot of the other magic is happening. If I bypass the vocoder block and just let take a look at the synth block, I am using three voices. I'm doing no pitch shift on the first voice. I've got a modifier. Uh, a low frequency oscillator on the tune of that initial voice just to give it a little bit of movement and then voice two is down an octave and voice three is up an octave and I get this tone and typically I find that using um, synthesizers or analog based synthesizers I know this is digital but it's basing it off of an analog synth the neck pickup seems to work and track the best this is what I get out of just the synth block <laughs> So big and loud synth tone, uh, really cool. It's probably a little bit too loud, but I find that the vocoder kind of brings the level down as well. So if I start the vocoder, now if I don't talk, I'm not going to get any sound out of the Axe effects. And some of that residual sound is just the microphone picking up on me clicking on the strings. Now if I talk, and you want to talk into the... Into the uh, microphone as monotone as you can so there's not you know this odd um, tracking going on so I'm going to try to be as monotone as I can I'm going to mute this mic on the video and we get this <laughs> And because it's an analog-based synthesizer, you can kind of freak it out if you play more than one note at a time. It's meant to be a monophonic synthesizer, but when I play these fourths on the vocoder, it sort of freaks it out and it gives me that really um, odd octave down warbly type thing. Now, I am not a vocoder expert by any means, so a lot of the stuff in the vocoder I kind of left alone. 
But this level control um, down here, this is kind of like a 24 band graphic EQ um, within the vocoder itself. So if you want a little less lows or if you want, you know, a little less highs or whatever, you can move these sliders around to get a different tone. I'll show you. Here is the basic tone. A bit less lows. With a peak up here. Now with less high. Da -da 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 so that would probably be the control that I use in addition to the parametric EQ to really watch those lows and highs. This level page controlling the loudness of each of those 24 bands would be a good way to sort of dial this in for, say, live tones or if you want a different sort of tone color. Other fun things that I have in this preset, I have just a general synth lead sound, which I like. <laughs> Again, it's a monophonic synthesizer, so when I play even a power chord, two note chord, or if I play something more, it really kind of freaks out and only hones in on one of those notes. I also have a bit of synth bass on here as well. If you want to try this preset out for yourself, you can download it by pressing the link in the description below. I'll put it right on top and try some of this stuff out for yourself. Remember, the routing is really important. Microphone into some sort of mic preamp out into input to left for the vocoder to track what is going on and then speak into the microphone to get that sound going. Let me know if you found this helpful in the comments below. If you like content like this, go ahead and hit those buttons. My name is Matthew Dale. I will see you on the next one.